Hi all, I just wanted to show you the basics of a little more modern 35 millimeter film camera. This is the Canon Rebel T2, which is a film camera that came out in about mid-2000, 2004 I believe on it. And uh, it's very much like your digital cameras that we have today that we're using uh, currently, but this one was built for film. So a lot of our digital cameras came off this same kind of chassis for being able to take photos as well. So this particular camera has got a 50 millimeter lens on it. It's got autofocus lens. Uh, you can actually take this lens and use it on most other digital cameras as well. Uh, this has autofocus. It has the same kind of controls that we would probably find on most of our DSLR cameras, very similar. So it has the manual automatic controls. It has some scene modes for working with it. It has the hot shoe for being able to connect a flash to it as well. The shutter release is here in the front on it there. It has the uh, same kind of controls for some autofocus and point focus uh, work on it there too. On the back it has an LED screen for being able to control some of the menu items on the camera itself, such as shooting or choosing your ISO, uh, choosing uh, high speed mode, all those different kind of things for being able to take the photos as well. It also has the viewfinder here for being able to look through and crop. Now, obviously, we don't see a photo or an image on our back LED screen. It is just for being able to help control and see what exposure settings we're using with the camera at that point, too. Okay, so we have that basic parts. To open the camera back, there's a latch on the left hand side that we can slide down and the back will pop open. Uh, these are much easier to load than the manual cameras. In this case, you would basically drop your cartridge in here, pull your film across until the end of the film reaches the mark that's on it here. You can barely see it down at the bottom here to that mark here, lay the film down, and when you close the back, it would automatically load the film into the camera on it like that. Okay, so once you press the button, it would be ready and set to be able to take photographs. It is an automatic wind and rewind on the camera here, so as you take pictures, you can hear the shutter. Hopefully, as it gets focused on something. There we go. Hear the shutter fire, and it does do the autofocus with it there too. Uh, so, pretty much all kind of uh, more automated function for being able to take with film cameras. And these are really nice little cameras because of kind of those creature comforts for being able to shoot and being very similar to our uh, DSLR cameras for being able to shoot too. Uh, what else? It does have a flash. You can pop up the flash on it if you ever really needed to do that for some reason on it there. Um, other than that, it does have interchangeable lenses. Now this is, since this is full frame, 35 millimeter, uh, only the EF lenses will work on this particular camera. Uh, the EFS lenses are made for the smaller sensor, so they will not fit onto this particular camera body. So you have to kind of go with the other one on it there. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's a really nice, basic, very lightweight plastic kind of body on it, but it has been a, a pretty durable little camera. Uh, Nikon had very similar versions. Pentax had similar versions of this camera. Uh, for being able to shoot with film as well. Uh, these were probably some of the last models of uh, true film cameras that were being produced on any scale, so to speak, uh, for, uh, for film photography on it there. Uh, there are still quite a few of them. I was looking on eBay and they run anywhere from, you know, 35 bucks to 65 or a hundred dollars, depending on the lens that might be on the camera too. Uh, so they're really nice cameras for being able to shoot with film. Uh, they have uh, much more of that feel of working with a digital camera. Uh, sometimes I like using older cameras just because they have that, that older feel. Of course, I'm old too, so, so it really kind of helps with me as well because they're more along the lines of the kind of cameras that I used. Um, some of the first ones of the autofocus cameras like this came out uh, probably in the very late 1990s. Uh, Nikon had their 2000 2020 series, which were early uh, autofocus cameras with the automatic load and all of that. 
uh, and then from there quickly we see a lot of these different kind of camera models coming onto the market for being able to take photographs as well. So that's it. This is just a little quick view of the camera. Um, they're very easy to load. If you ever get a chance to use one or come across one, they are nice little cameras to have. Talk to you later.